What's up guys, my name is Spencer Turley, this is my new custom track, Frozen Trail. Um, this is the first, like, you know, woods, trail kind of track I've made, so uh, I thought I did a pretty good job on it. Um, definitely had some pretty cool sections, some logs and stuff, it's definitely tricky, so uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, this is the first one I've ever made, so I'm still kind of learning how to do all of it. Uh, uh, and just kind of how these kind of tracks work, you know, but um, as you can see, it's definitely tricky on the rocks and stuff, but uh, go through a nice little river there, um, and the actual river itself feels really slick when you get on it, so it's pretty tricky, it's kind of cool. Um, right here, it gets real tight, like on the side of a mountain side, um, and if you fly off, uh, <laughs> yeah, not good. Um, right here, I actually almost did, whoa. <laughs> got close there for sure but you kind of get that like cabin fever or like woods fever kind of vibe because you're like going in the woods for so long that you feel like you're kind of getting lost in the woods which is, is like a really cool thing to me um you know you just kind of you get uh different kind of emotions that you would kind of in real life you know um from those kind of things in this game when you make a track realistic enough um but yeah so been trying to get back on the custom track game and uh it's definitely been fun i made all of this track this morning so definitely worked hard on it but um yeah it's it's really cool uh you know definitely tricky it's it's a pretty long lap too but it ain't it ain't like what i would call a normal you know woods race or something like that most of those are like hours and hours uh, long right here it goes into a split lane you can take either way I try to make it pretty even uh, the other way like you go through kind of some whoop things and then the rocks hit the other side quicker than this side so it kind of all evens out it's pretty cool and these rock statues I found are actually really good like it does take some skill to really find a good line through the rocks and if you bunch the rocks up close close together like uh, you can just go over top of them pretty easy in certain spots so it's just cool to you know make make different lines and stuff like that right here triple over the logs pretty cool I think you can quad but then you would like land on the rocks of that downside so I don't know but definitely all you like trail fans and wood riding guys out there this is definitely a, the track for you um, and you know I've rode some woods in real life too so I kinda know what it's like um, this is a little bit different in the fact that the trees, you can't hit the trees because they're not statues, they're billboards, so, you know, it's real life, you're like, actually like trying to, you're just right there by the trees, you know, it's really, really tight, um, and if I had tree st statues in this, it, it would just be like so ridiculous lag that you couldn't even play it because it'd be like a million statues, you know what I'm saying, so, um, so I just made them billboards, but it still it kind of it kind of skewers your your view and stuff when you're trying to when you're trying to ride between the trees and stuff. But it's cool right here. You come out on a road and it feels like a road too. You get a lot of traction on it. Um, popped a little willy right here. Uh, a little cool log section. But yeah, you definitely get that like that like wintry um, dark kind of vibe to it. Um, pretty cool. But see, I have these little yellow uh, markers on the side of the track, so you don't—you're not really ever going to get completely lost. You kind of know where to go, you know. Um, so it's not bad. But but I love making these kind of tracks. I didn't really realize this before, but I really like it a lot because there's really no boundaries on what you can do. You know, you can make any kind of section anywhere. It, it's not like you've got—it's not like when you're making a motocross track or a supercross track, you know. So. I really enjoy how you can just kind of play around with it and just do whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Two different size logs. There, this is the smaller one here. There was a bigger one there before. Um, and then the rocks. That's pretty much the only actual statue obstacles that there is. And then the rest is just, uh, you know, snow hills and stuff like that. But like this is just the thick snow it feels kind of like sand and then this is like the slick snow so you get a, you can get a lot of speed going on the slicker snow like or the ice i guess you could call it um but it, obviously it's less traction so you got to be careful on it um so and you just you start kind of realizing that once you kind of ride through it you start learning that uh that this this 
heavier snow looks like this, you know, and it's it's thicker, so you kind of know um, it's got more traction and not as slick as what the ice would be like. But a little cool section right here, you hit two logs and go over that, um, and back over the river again. Right here, uh, you just want to be careful and not go to like one of the other ones. You pretty much keep it pretty straight on that river part because you cross it three times the same river, so you kind of got to be careful and not go on the other one of the other entrances, you know, uh, but once you make a lap on it, you, you learn it pretty easy. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of like the finish, finish straight away here. It gets, gets pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is the first like trail kind of track I've ever made. So I'll definitely get better at it and uh, it should be good. But that, that's the lap on here. Um, frozen trail. I will, uh, keep on making these custom tracks and I hope you guys like it. Thanks.